Gude. So today on the healing bench is this smart bike backlight from Fook or whatever. Theoretically, it's really good. It has a really long battery life and an acceleration sensor so that it will light up even more when you brake and just one button. But there is an issue. Um, during the summer I didn't use this and so I think it was half charged but somehow it discharged over the summer and now it won't charge anymore. At least that's what I'm guessing. You see when I plug it in it flashes and nothing else happens. I think it should be a solid color to um, indicate the charging but it just flashes. Um, I tried clicking it long, I tried clicking it short, tried different cables, everything. I had it plugged in for like 24 hours but if I unplug it and try to activate it, it's just dead. So um, contacting the seller or maker of this brand didn't work either, so no ideas there. Let's do the troubleshooting dance. Um, okay, we, we tried everything, right? We, everything we can do right here. I tried um, poking it with energy, uh, um, I tried clicking it on, clicking it off, holding it, uh, so I'm out of ideas. I guess the battery is so dead we need to revive it. That's the same thing that happened to the EV up here with the that can't be um, disabled or switched off completely which discharges itself over time and I think the same thing happened here the battery just got so discharged that the electronic of the BMC um, does not recognize the battery and does not start the charging so we have to like manually charge it a little bit like give it a little push start and then the electronics will recognize it again and then will charge the battery up again at least that is what i think but how can we get in there it's all i think it's all clicked into each other so i will try a few things in the worst case i will just have to cut it open here and pry the the metal, uh, I think it's alum aluminum, uh, aluminum, whatever. What would be better to shim in there than old razor blades? They should be slim enough. It still doesn't fit. What can possibly go wrong? The issue is I do not know where the pins are and if there are any pins. Since the shimming was unsuccessful, I think I will just open it. Maybe I can't save it at all, so we need to get started somehow. Think we are getting there. Yeah, there we are. Great. So that is basically it. There's the battery. And this might be the BMS, battery management system. That's that. This is that. And as you see, if you don't want to take it apart, there are no, no hooks at all in there. So basically, Maybe you are able to just pull it out. Yep. Is the battery terminal also? It looks quite bloated, but anyway. We are in DC. Negative here. Positive there. Come on. Still nothing. Okay, so right now I confirmed power is getting in here, power is getting out there. 
but for some reason it does not enter the battery. Maybe the battery is just dead or there's some something going on in here. Luckily there's not the whole ground is not covered in aluminum shavings, right? <laughs> ah and that could be an indication. Maybe this should not be broken. So what I can try and what you shouldn't try at home is to just feed it carefully some some three volts or so just trying to revive it or I just pop in a new battery or I just buy a new light because the light was like 10 euros or so but I really don't like throwing away stuff that basically works okay the PCB works and the plug works but the, and the light works but the battery does not work just one simple component not working okay we are a step further so you can see I peeled down this plastic layer here and the battery is, reads almost 4 volts now. So I think the issue is just that this connection is broken. So I have to resolder this and the light should work again. This is the one spot you want to have a really good soldering connection. but. It just won't work. Also, I don't think if I feel comfortable ooh, driving around, shaking the stuff. I could buy a new battery for 690 and 4 euro shipping, or I could just buy a new bike light for 8 or 9 bucks. Hmm, tough decision. So now it's like two or three weeks later and here we go. I got a spare, I'm honest. And the added bonus is that I got more clamps for my bikes. Sad to have to put this down, but economically it does not make any sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!